Hi guys, so I figure that since I'm finished with my makeup brush collection, I have 13 of them, out of the goodness of my heart, I will show you my brush collection. And I have reviewed some of these, and I haven't reviewed some of these. I've used a lot of them, and I haven't used some of them. So if there's any of them that you want more clarification on, you know, please comment down below. Please message me. Let me know. Um, if there's any of them you want me to do a review on, post down below, and I will try to get to it. I will include in the sidebar, as well as this video, how much they cost, these brushes each cost, and where I got them. So the first brushes I'm going to go through are my face brushes. I have four of them. First one I have is this Studio Tools Dual Fiber Stippling Brush from Target. This runs for $6.99. I got it in clearance for $3.48. I don't know if they're still being sold or not, but I got this about a month ago. And I use this for foundation. It's really firm. It doesn't shed at all. And I just, I like it. The next face brush I got is this Revlon Pro Face Brush. I bought this off of eBay. And I believe the last time I checked, the seller who's selling these still has about six left. This, this is huge, like, like ridiculous. Like, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to buy a Kabuki brush just because this is so freaking big and it'll do the job that I want it to do. Um, it's not really soft, but it's not prickly either. I, I can handle it. It's not bad. I use this for mineral veils. This cost me about $3.50, give or take, and that was with shipping. So if you are interested, go look on eBay for this. I did When I got it, it did smell a bit, and it does shed, but sometimes it doesn't, and for the job I wanted to do, it doesn't. Okay, so the next brush I got, I just recently got the mail from Hong Kong earlier this week. It's a blush brush. I ordered it on eBay. And if you look up blush brush on eBay, you'll find like a bunch of them that are sold like from Hong Kong or whatever. This is one of them. So this is what it looks like in the flesh. It actually fits on my, the apples on my cheeks like perfectly. Even though it does shed, it's not, it's, it's fairly soft. It's not as soft as it possibly could be, but it's not unbearable. And I only got this for a penny. I got I went on auction. And then I paid two thirty in shipping. So two thirty one for a blush brush, I'm really not gonna complain. So I actually think it's good quality. Okay, and my last face brush I just got today. This is my elf complexion brush. It's part of the studio line. This cost me three dollars. You can get it on eyesofspace.com. It's a nice paddle brush. I'm gonna use it for either mineral blushes or bronzers. This is so soft, ridiculously soft. It's made from all synthetic hair, so it's completely vegan friendly and animal loving. And it's really, it's all black. It's really chic, and it's just so soft. It comes with this nice plastic thing, so we can keep it shape when it's dry. So I really like that. All right, so my remaining one, two, three, nine brushes are all eye brushes. I actually have two or three lip brushes, but they're like, one's a Mary Kay, and it's like this big, and it's retractable, so I just told you what it looked like. And one is this Joan Simmons one that's silver. You can take the cap off, put it onto the bottom, and it pushes up and the brush comes out. I'm too lazy to get those, and they're really hard to find anyway. But, um, I mean, if you want to see them, Definitely, you know, comment down below and I will get them and I will show them to you in another video and review them. So to get into my eye brushes, the first two eye brushes I'm going to do came together as a set. This is my CVS Essence of Beauty Crease Brush Duo. This one's drying, I just washed it. Um, these cost five fifty for both of them, pack of two. They come together and they're really good quality. I just did a review on these. I really like them. The next one. I got is the Elf Professional Eyeshadow Brush. I also did a review on this a couple weeks ago. This um, is sold on eyesofspace.com for a dollar, but I bought it on eBay for maybe $3.89. This was before I realized that, hey, I. So this was before eBay had. Eyes of Space had like a 50% off sale off the 15. 
So, I don't know. If you don't want to, if this is all you want and you don't want to put to put the huge shipping bill, I would suggest going on eBay and looking for looking for something like this. The next brush I'm going to show you, I got from Michaels actually. It's a painting brush. This is the Low Cornell one quarter inch and mini mop. Uh, this cost three forty nine. I had a fifty percent off coupon, and I got it for buck eighty six. That included tax. So it has a green handle. It's very long. This this brush is like the longest brush I have. My guess is that this brush is about seven and a half inches long. Anyway, I was reading that this could be a dupe for the Mac two seventeen. It really I don't think it is. This is very flimsy. It's very flimsy. It's not dense. I use this for application of highlighter. And I also sometimes use it in my inner tear ducts. However, it is a bit pokey and scratchy. So I just mostly use it for this and to blend my highlight color into my crease color. So that's what I use that for. And now, I'm going to go over my the one this I have reviewed. This is my Studio Tools Contour Brush. I got from Target for $1.99. This I love. I love this brush so much. I love it. Now I'm going to go over the brushes I got from Coastal Scents. First one I got is the Bent Liner Brush. This costs $2.19 on CoastalScents.com. And I have used it. And it just, I use, um, I use it with my cream liner. And it made application fairly, pretty damn easy. I heard that using cream liner with a brush like this is easier than using it with an angled eyeliner brush like this. So I got this. And this is like almost always sold out. So this is in very high demand. Maybe because it's probably a really good product. Um, also from Coastal Sense, I got their pink eyeshadow, oval eyeshadow black brush. This is like a more dense version of my e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. As you can see them side to side. Well, I just washed this, but this brush was denser to begin with. I got this for, this was $1.95 on CoastalSense.com. It's very dense, and I do like it. I haven't used it yet, though. And then from CoastalSense.com, I got their um, tapered crease eye brush. This was $2.49. I haven't used this yet, either. I bought it for blending. And yeah, that's that one. And remember the order from Hong Kong that I got this from? They actually sent me this one first. And yeah, they sent me the wrong item. And they pre and so I had to contact them, and then they sold me the right one. This is what they sent me. If you look up eyeshadow brush on eBay, you'll probably find this. It is, I don't like it. It is a black handle. I don't like it at all, really. I just use it. It's tap on. And it's kind of like, it has, doesn't really pick up colors well. You can't, it's very, I, I mean, I, I wash this. I try to wash it for like 10 minutes. It's, it doesn't, it's, it's very hard to wash because like the color and, you know, the shimmer from my cream eyeshadow just got stuck in there. Like it won't come out even, no matter how hard I try washing it. This, I only use, this is made of Taclon. I only use this for my cream eyeshadows, if at all. But it was free, so I'm really not going to complain. And then the last brush I have, I also, I got from eBay. And this is my Joan Simmons Eye Accent Brush. This appears to be like a smaller version of my Studio Tools Contour Brush. I got this for $3.70, and that includes shipping. And I haven't used this yet either. But find it on eBay. Maybe it's still on sale. I don't know. Okay. So, well, so that's my brush collection. If you want me to, um, if you have any questions about them, please feel free to ask me. If you want me to do a review on one that I haven't done a review on yet, please comment down below and I will see if I can get to it. So I really hope that you all have a good rest of the night, and I'll see you all later.